When I go hiking, I like to use my wooden walking stick, but I wanted a nice grip for it. So I designed one in Tinkercad, printed it in a TPU, and I'll show you how I did it. On today's Film of Friday. Film of Friday is brought to you by the generous donations of these Patreon supporters. Here's the grip I'm going to make. It's made out of flexible TPU with a fuzzy skin surface. The first step was to measure the diameter of my walking stick. I reproduced a section of that in Tinkercad and I sized it slightly larger, 30.5 millimeters. Then I used a cone and cylinders to make the rest of the grip. I converted the walking stick into a hole so it's going to take away material and then I lined the two up using the align tool in the X and Y direction. Now I'm going to group them together and this will form the hole in the center of my grip. From Tinkercad, I export the .stl file and load it into Cura. I'll use my TPU profile that I showed in a previous video, but I'm going to change it to a 0.28 layer height, a little bit rougher. I'm also going to enable fuzzy skin, but only on the outside. I want the inside of the grip to be smooth. I sliced it from my Ender 2 Pro, and it says 3 hours and 19 minutes. Preview mode shows the roughness on the outside, but smooth on the inside. I have a sample roll of 95A TPU. I'm going to use this instead of the NinjaFlex, which is 85A. What's the difference, you might ask? Well, if I take two equal length pieces and tie them to a 5 pound weight and hang them from the ceiling, the 95A doesn't stretch nearly as far as the 85A. Because 95A isn't as soft, I should be able to print this in a stock extruder on the Ender 2 Pro without issue. I did a test print just to see how much it would shrink and if this would fit, and I found out it was too big. It slid right over the walking stick. So I went back to Tinkercad and I changed it from 30.5 to 30 millimeters. I resliced it and then printed it on the Ender 2 Pro with the FR4 bed I showed in a previous video. And you can see that the stock extruder was handling this filament just fine, full retraction the whole bit, and it stuck to the bed really nicely. I was happy with the print. Now this is going to cover the hole for the original wrist loop. So I need to drill a new hole and then feed that wrist loop through it and then tie it into a knot and then just slide it into place. So that was pretty easy. Now I'm ready to put on the grip. Now I could have used a little bit of soapy water, that way it slides on real easy, and then when the soap dries it sticks. But I was able to just twist this thing and get it on so it worked just fine. And once I had it in place, it felt perfect. Perfect angle for my arm. I love it. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos popping up. If you want to help support the channel, Patreon is one way. And if nothing else, click on that Filament Friday logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time, right here at Filament Friday.